Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about installing PowerShell Empire on our Kali Linux machine. You would think that a video tutorial on how to install an application onto Kali would not be necessary, but when it comes to PowerShell Empire, not all installation packages are created equal. You do need to know where to get the correct installation package for PowerShell Empire. Some of these packages that are out there have not been updated since 2018, 2019, and they are not going to install without a whole lot of grief and aggravation. So make sure that you do get the correct package. I will be using one virtual install of Kali Linux, the latest version, updated, and I will be taking a snapshot of my current configuration before I begin the installation of PowerShell Empire. Let's check out my network adapter. So I'm going to go to devices over here to network and network settings and you'll see that currently I am using NAT network. To create a snapshot of your current configuration of Kali Linux before you install PowerShell Empire, over in the left window pane of your VirtualBox Manager, find your running installation of Kali Linux and you're going to go over here to the right window pane and you're going to click on this little icon that says take. You're going to give it a user friendly name. I called mine before Power Empire. Once you're done there, you're just going to say OK. It will then take a snapshot of your current configuration. So you'll be able to roll back in the event that you have any issues. To begin the installation process for PowerShell Empire, let's bring up a new terminal. Let's go ahead and increase our font so everybody can see what I'm doing. Let's do that one more time. There we go. So the first thing we need to do is to ensure that we have our machine updated and upgraded to the latest and the greatest for Kali. Now, once you do the update and the upgrade, go ahead and do yourself one more of those wonderful snapshots so that you can roll back and not have to do the upgrade if something goes wrong. Now once you've completed the update and the upgrade for Kali and you've taken your snapshot, you're ready to begin the installation of PowerShell Empire Starkiller. At the prompt, you're just going to type in sudo space app space install space dash y. The dash y just answers any prompt that you will be asked to say yes or no. Give it a space PowerShell dash empire space starkiller. Now all these commands are in the lab file. If you like, you can just copy and paste them into the prompt if needed. Go ahead and hit enter and the installation begins. PowerShell Empire installs rather quickly and once you're done, we're going to go ahead and we will be ready to launch. PowerShell and Starkiller have installed. Let's go ahead and clear our prompt. And up here at the prompt, we're going to go ahead and launch PowerShell and Starkiller. Now that we have PowerShell Empire installed with Starkiller, we're going to have to first start the server. So at the prompt, I've typed in sudo space PowerShell dash Empire space server. That's going to start the server end of PowerShell and Starkiller. Go ahead and hit enter. And it takes just a moment for it to start up the server end of this application. Now that we have the server end of PowerShell Empire and Starkiller up and running, we can now launch the client. To do this, we're just going to launch another command prompt. Let's go ahead and fix our view here. And we're just going to bring up our last command, but we're going to replace server with client, like so. And go ahead and hit enter. Give it just a second to load up, and the client portion starts to become available. In my next video, we're going to go through the basics of using PowerShell Empire to exploit a Windows PC. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how to correctly install PowerShell Empire using the correct installation package. Now there are plenty of tutorials on the internet and on YouTube that show you how to install PowerShell Empire. But because of the upgrades with Kali and Python dependencies that this program depends on, the older tutorials no longer work. You got questions? You got concerns about anything that was presented to you in this short video presentation? 
Please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.